all helicopter pilots practice a lot of rotations, which are what they're going to do if the engine shuts down. Contrary to popular thinking, a helicopter is not going to simply crash once it has no engine power. Now, I don't hear Chris's engine. I'm guessing he may have entered another rotation. You see him coming out towards the Earth. He's using the upflow of air through the rotor system to keep the rotor system turning. It's ingeniously designed. The rotor system is only being turned by the air rushing up through it. And Chris is saving that energy, that weight in the rotor system, that, that pendulum energy. He's holding on to that because at the very bottom, he's going to be able to pull that collective pitch in we just talked about, which increases the pitch or the bite of the blades all the way around, create thrust, decelerate, slow down, and land like a feather. Again, ladies and gentlemen, his engine is shut down right now. He is coasting. Now watch this. Chris does a beautiful auto rotation. Flare. He's going to flare backwards, decelerate, and gently touch down. Have a hand of applause for Chris Curtis. By the way, Chris is an ex-combat pilot from Vietnam. He flew Hueys and Cobras there. You can notice now the, uh, the engine on the back of his aircraft, which only powers that pusher propeller. He started it up again. And he's saving that rotating energy in the rotor system. That's what all the helicopters here are going to do in the event that their engines fail.